Hello and welcome to a session of mensuration. Mensuration, a method by which we can find out the area, volume, perimeter of different shapes, sizes, maybe two dimensional, maybe three dimensional. So let's have a look at what all different shapes are there. Starting from the simplest, quadrilateral, triangle, then comes circle, circle, semicircle, an arc of a circle. Let's go ahead. There's something called three dimensional. Now, what are three dimensions? There's something called a simple sphere or in the shape of a ball. Hemisphere. So, if you say half the sphere, let's take an ice cream cone for that matter. So, that's a conical shape or a cylindrical shape or the simplest of all, the Rubik's cube, a cube, a cube where all the three edges are equal or a cuboid where all the three edges are different. So, there are so many different shapes, there are so many different sizes, two dimensional, three dimensional, a lot of things which come by. Let's not get into the formulas, let's start by doing examples, examples which cover almost all types of shapes and in the same way we can learn how to apply them rather than just knowing the formulas. Let's take the first example, the length of a minute hand on a wall clock is 7 centimeter. Find the area swept by the minute hand in 30 minutes. Now let's have a look, what is the total time or total number of minutes in an hour? There is 60. What is the total degrees in a full circular cover? It's what, 360 degrees? So every degree or rather every minute is equal to what, 6 degrees? So in 30 minutes, how, many, how much uh, arc is covered? So 30 into 6, which is nothing but 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, which is nothing but half a circle or semicircle. Now, let's look at the area. Area of a circle is what? Pi r square. So here, since it is half a circle, it will be pi r square by 2. So, pi r square by 2 is nothing but pi into r square, which is say 7 square divided by 2. So, 22 into 49 upon 14. That will give us an answer of 77 square centimeter. Let's have a look at another example. The length of the floor of a rectangular hall is 10 meters more than its breadth. If 34 carpets of size 6 meter by 4 meter are required to cover the floor of the hall, then find the length and breadth of the hall. Now, the length is 10 meter more than its breadth. And the size of each carpet is what? 6, in, 6 meters into 4 meters. So, what is the total area? 6 into 4 into 34 carpets. So, that is what? That should be equal to length into breadth. So, breadth here is B, length is what? B plus 10. So, we can calculate from this that B is equal to 24 and L which is length is equal to 34 meters. Let us have a look at another example. Around a rectangular garden of length 10 meters and width 5 meters, a road of 1 meter is laid. Find the cost of leveling the road at 200 per meter square. So, let us have a look. Garden of 10 meter by 5 meters. So, there needs to be a 1 meter wide road around it. So, if I just say what will be the length of the road along the length? Now, 10 meter is the length, but the length of the road will be 1 meter beyond it on top and 1 meter beyond it on the bottom. So, it will be what 12 meters. Similarly, for the other side of the length, so 12 meters. But if you look at the breadth, we have already covered this extra 1 meter, 1 meter here. So, breadth will be same as 5 meters. So, the total breadth will be 5 below and 5 up. So, that, that is 10. So, 12 plus 12 plus 10. So, that gives me 34. So, 34 is the total length required to be covered multiplied by the width which is 1 meter. So, 34 into 1 multiplied by the cost which is 200. So, that gives us the total cost as 6400 rupees. Let us have a look at another question. If the diameter of a circle is increased by 100 percent, then what is the percentage increase in area? So, let us understand this. Circle, what is the area? It is pi r square or nothing but pi d square upon 4. Now, this is the original area. Let us assume that the diameter is now doubled or increased by 100 percent. So, now d will become, the new d will become 2d. So, it will be pi into 2d whole square upon 4. So, that gives me pi d square. Earlier it was pi d square upon 4. Now, it is pi d square. So, this will give me what? An increase of 300 percent. So, that is the increase in the area when you do it 100 percent increase on a diameter. Now, let us have another question. 
find the area of a trapezium shown in the given figure. Now, if you look at the given, given figure, it is broken into two parts. The bottom is nothing but a rectangle of 9 cross 4, 12 and top is nothing but a 13 centimeter hypotenuse and a 12 meter base triangle. We do not know the height of it. But going by the triads, we know that 12 into 12, 13 will also have a combination of 5. So, the height can be just as 5. So, if I just go by the two separate figures, the rectangle which is nothing but length into breadth which is 12 into 9 which is 108 centimeter square and the triangle which is nothing but 12 into 5 into half. So, that will give me 30. So, the total will be 138 centimeter square. Let us take another question. There is a square of side x and two circles are drawn with radius x from the opposite vertices. Find the area enclosed. Now, let us look at the diagram closely. If I remove one of the vertices circles, then what am I left with? I am left with the square and I am also left with the quarter of a circle. Now, the quarter of a circle, if I watch closely and at the same time I draw a line from the corner vertices, it will cut the circle. Now, what will be the area left? The area left will be nothing but the quarter of the circle area minus the area of the triangle. Now, this will give me one portion of the shaded area. If I do it the other way around from the opposite vertex also, that will give me the total area. So, let us see this. What is the area? Normally, pi r square. Here, the radius is what? x. So, the area will be pi r square upon 4. Let us take the triangle area. What will be the triangle area? Half into base into height, which will be nothing but half x square. So, pi x square by 4 minus x square by 2 will give us half the shaded area. If we have to calculate the other shaded area, that will be equal to this. So, let us double this pi x square by 2 minus x square. Now, this is the area of the shaded portion. Let us have a look at the other question. Find the radius of the three circles in the equilateral triangle. Now, let us have a look at the diagram. There is a triangle and inside that there is an in circle. Now, the portion above the in circle, there is another in circle which comes in and the portion above the second in circle is where the third in circle comes in. So, let us have a look. First in circle, what is the in radius? In radius is nothing but a divided by 2 root 3. So, that is 10 divided by 2 root 3 which is 5 upon root 3. So, let us have a look. What is the overall height of the triangle? Now, height of the triangle is nothing but root 3 upon 2 into a which here is 5 root 3. So, what is the height remaining? Now, height remaining will be what? height of the triangle minus the diameter of the circle. So, 5 root 3 minus 10 upon root 3 which will give me nothing but 5 upon root 3. Now, I can do it in this way and I can do it in another way. So, let us do it this way first. 5 upon root 3 is the remaining height. Now, we know that if this is the remaining height of the triangle, the second triangle of which the second circle is the in circle, then I can clearly find out the diameter of the second circle which is nothing but 2 upon 3 into the height which is 5 root 3. Going ahead, the third one will be what? 2 upon 3 into 1 by 3 into 5 root 3. So, I get the 3 circle radius here, which is nothing but 5 upon root 3, 1 by 3 into 5 upon root 3 and 1 by 9 into 5 upon root 3. The second way in which we can solve this is, after the in circle is drawn, then what is the remaining height? The remaining height is one third of it. So, the in circle will also be one third the radius. Similarly, the third in circle will be one third of that. So, this way we can very Clearly, after finding out the first in circle, we can say the third in circle, second in circle and the third in circle will be one third of the first one respectively. Let us have a look at another question. A right circular cone of height h is cut by a plane parallel to the base and at a height of 2 by 2 h by 3 from the vertex. Then the volumes of the resulting cone and the frustum are in the ratio. Now, there is a cone and there is a frustum. But let us look at the entire cone first. The height is h. Let us assume the radius to be r. So, the volume is what? 1 by 3 pi r square h. Now, this is the volume of the bigger cone. Let us look at the smaller cone. What is the height of the smaller cone? Now, it is 2 h by 3 from the vertex. So, the height is 2 h by 3. If I go back to the triangles and we recollect the ratio of parallelism, then it will tell me that the radius will also be 2 r by 3. So, what will be the volume? 1 by 3 into pi into 2 r by 3 whole square into 2 h by 3. This will give me nothing but 8 by 81 pi r square h. Now, if I compare it to the previous one, 
it will be what 8 by 27 into the previous one so this smaller cone is 8 by 27 of the previous one so what is the first term 1 minus 8 by 27 which will be nothing but what 19 by 27 v so these are this is the ratio so 8 by 27 and 19 by 27 the ratio is 8 is to 19 let's have a look at another question the length of the hall is 15 meters and the width is 12 meters the sum of the areas of the floor and the flat roof is equal to the sum of the area of the four walls find the volume of the hall now the length of the hall is 15 the breadth is 12 so what is the area of the floor and the ceiling 12 into 15 which is the floor and same is the ceiling so it will be 12 into 15 into 2 now what will be the walls let's assume the height to be h so one wall will be 15 h the other wall will be 12 h so there are four walls in all so 15 h into 2 plus 12 h into 2 now this will give me h equal to 6.66 so what is the volume so volume is nothing but length into breadth into height so length is 15 breadth is 12 and height is 6.66 this gives me the entire volume to be 1200 let's have a look at another question a cone of height 7 cm and base radius 3 cm is carved out from a rectangular block of wood which is 10 cm by 5 cm by 2 cm find the percentage of wood wasted now let's have a look at the block first what is the shape of the block 10 by 5 by 2 so it is in a cuboid shape so what is the volume of a cuboid l into b into h so the volume is what 10 into 5 into 2 which is nothing but 100 now let's look at the cone the cone's height is 7 cm the base radius is 3 cm so the volume is what 1 by 3 pi r square h so pi into r r is what 3 so r square 9 into h which is 7 divided by 3 so this will give me the entire volume to be 66 so what is the wastage 100 minus 66 is the wastage so 34 is the wastage now using such simple but straight formulas it is only about application that is help us through through the mensuration part so happy solving